because we want to do what it says in verses 19 and 20. We want to go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them, verse 20, to observe all that I have commanded you, and behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the good news that Jesus Christ is with you. You're not going by yourself. You got somebody with you. The Holy Spirit is with you. The Holy Spirit, that word that is used in um, John chapter 14 to describe the Holy Spirit as the comforter, it doesn't just mean like a warm blanket around your shoulders. No, it means from the Greek, someone who is coming along with you you. Amen. Coming along beside you. It's like when you go into battle and you know you have on your right hand your most, uh, your best fighter, the one who is strongest, the one who can fight the best, the one who doesn't get tired, the one who always has a source of ammo, that one, that's the one that you have with you when you go into battle. The Holy Spirit is with you alongside you. But, but, but here's the key, the Holy Spirit can only remind you of the scripture if you read it, hello. It won't be a reminder if you haven't read it. So read some, you don't have to read everything, but read a few good things and memorize them.